Hi, thank you for joining me today. Uh, today, I want to show you guys the purchasing and receiving module in the Sage Tool Op system, specifically focusing on the low level browser. One of the things that I really wanted to, to point out, one of the key features here with the Sage Tool Op system is its notification center. Um, you've all run into the, the situation in the warehouse where your team out in the field is needing a piece of equipment or a piece of material, and we are just about out or we are out here at the warehouse. Somebody's going to have to run and get more or the job's going to have to wait until we can get some more ordered in. With the low-level alert, that is a, a problem of the past here with the Sage Tool Ops system. So right now, you guys are seeing my purchasing and receiving module here in the Sage Tool Ops system. Um, if I go up here to my messaging center and your warehouse guys can get this message either here on the dashboard, they can get a text message, an email, uh, however you'd like to set it up. But I'll be able to see that there are assets and low levels. So your warehouse team will simply click in here. And this is going to pull up for me all of my tools and equipment that are on low levels. Um, you can see here, and when you set up your system, um, Banger can help you with this, Toolwatch can help you with this. But when you go in and set up your equipment and your modules here, you'll be able to set up what level you would like your tools and equipment at. So I can see here that I have a low level browser specifically for this. Um, we'll do go ahead and do these blades here. I have a, a low level at five. Uh, my target level where I would like to see it at constantly is 10 and where I'm at a high level of 20. Um, so I'll see here anytime that this falls below five that I'll get a message and alert letting me know that I need to order more. Um, currently I have one on stock. Um, what's really nice here and um, makes it super easy for your warehouse staff as I can come in here, I can click on that or several different items here. And I can simply right click and click add to purchase order. This will automatically bring me over into the purchasing and order, um, order module here in your Sage Tool Ops system. From here, I can see um, that it's gonna bring over those different, uh, all those different items. I can see the manufacturer, the model number, all that good stuff here. Um, but what you'll also see is the quantity. Um, of course, this can be changed, um, but as you see, it, can, it goes ahead and brings you back up to that target level. So if you remember that blade was that currently had one in stock, um, my target level was 10. Um, so it's gonna automatically order nine for me. So that way I can get back to that target level. What's really nice is I can come up here, I can click on my vendor, my browser, and I can see all the vendors that I use. So let's say I typically order these directly from Home Depot. I can click OK on that. It's going to populate the um, Home Depot's information there. I can also select where I want it shipped to. Um, so let's say I am currently in the Boston warehouse. I'll click OK there. It's going to pull up the Boston information there, but you'll also see it's going to ask me if I want to update my cost items. Um, as we all know, it, it does cost different on which items you ship it to, um, wh which warehouse you're going to be shipping to, and, and from what location. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes here. So you'll see it'll automatically populate the cost for each of these items and then how much it costs to get them to your specific warehouse, your specific spot. Um, so all this information will automatically populate there for you, making it super easy. Um, and then I can also put in here who, who's doing the ordering. So for another layer of security, um, let's go ahead and say Godfrey is the one doing the order here. Um, where I want the requisition to go, um, where, I want, where I'm shipping it from, I can have the order date there, the extended date there, the document number, all of that can be put in here as well. Um, once I have all those items put in, super easy here, I'm just gonna click save. Um, and then it's gonna ask if you're ready to do the purchase. And I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. Um, once that's done, it's gonna go ahead and uh, print off a purchase order for you. Once that purchase order is done, all you have to do is email it um, or mail it off to your to your vendor, get those orders in. Once you have those orders, um, all you would have to do is receive against it. I'm here in the receiving ticket selection in your module. Um, once you receive against it, it will automatically repopulate those into the system, take them off of your low-level browser, um, and make it super easy for you to keep track of your warehouse there. I hope that you guys did find this information useful here. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us at Banger. Happy to go into a more in-depth detail as well as answer any specific questions you have over the purchasing and receiving or the Sage Tool Ops product in general. Thank you all, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.